Hey, Adam. So this morning we were walking through the community forums and chat and noticed this kind of interesting question about um, Docker and, and secrets in Reddit. Um, can you pull it up and let's chat through it? Yeah, here it is. Yeah, it's, it's super interesting because this person is asking about Docker secrets and they have a very good question, which is, hey, I have these secrets and I started using this Docker secret feature, but like inside the container, um, I can like run cat and see the file with the secrets in it, right? And their their question is like, how am I protected with this? Yeah, I mean, and that would be a huge problem, obviously, if you took these images, you throw them up in a public repo, and all of a sudden, everyone in the world can pull these secrets out, unbeknownst to you, right? Yeah, and nobody thinks of that. Uh, I mean, some people think of that, but oftentimes, yeah, I use the Docker secrets feature while building my image, so what does it matter? But yeah, the, the Docker secrets feature Right. Unless you're using Docker Swarm, it's it's for secrets that you would use creating your image, but not during the runtime. Because if you need the secret at runtime, the only way that you can get that in there is by yeah storing it within the Docker image that you're then gonna distribute. Right. And now your secret has been captured. Uh, so not a good thing. So th so this person, uh, Artichoke two four two, is totally right. And I would say. Um, it's an important thing to think about, right? If you need the secret at runtime, something like this Docker secrets isn't going to work, yeah. right? Instead, you're going to need either like native Kubernetes secrets, you're going to need AWS um, secret manager, or like the thing that I want to recommend, right? Which is uh, Pulumi ESC. Because Pulumi ESC has a, a nice tutorial here on how to integrate with Docker. And the thing I like right here, right, is, um, you know, you have this Docker Alpine image you've made, but you're not accessing the secret while building that image. Instead, you know, you're running that inside ESC run. And that means that it has access to the secret, but just during that run, right? It's not stored in a file um, inside that Docker image that you're distributing around. So I think it's a it's a great way to approach things. Yeah. And I mean, there's going to be a ton of other benefits, obviously, for using ESC, right? Um, your secrets are encrypted in transit, they're encrypted at rest. Uh, you can have RBAC controls on them. So just you or the right folks in your team can access those secrets securely. So tons of other benefits uh, might be a good segue to kind of tell this user a little bit more about checking out Pumi ESC. Yeah, totally. And uh, yeah, like as you said, there, you know, you can see them online. There's there's RBAC, it's secure at rest. There's even like a um, cluster secret store that you can use with Kubernetes. So yeah, lots of great features there. But like the big takeaway, I think, is like, yeah, don't get your secrets. Don't have them like captured by the image and have them at rest in, in the image. If you need them at runtime, you need a runtime solution. So that's my big takeaway. Yeah, sort of the worst practice here, but we'll flip it around and call these call ESC a solution for the best practice here. There we go. All right, thanks, James. Yeah, take care.